It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. He was the heartthrob youngest son of the Ewing family in the 1980s soap opera, Dallas. He later became one of America's favorite fun-loving TV dads in the 1990s sitcom, Step by Step. I'd like to welcome Patrick Duffy. Hi, Patrick, how are you? Hi, Laurie. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have to say I'm a really big fan of your work. And um, you. when, when Step by Step came up, of course, I was just so excited to um, to get a chance to speak with you today. Yay. Now, um, we're going to take a trip down memory lane, a really short trip. Okay. Um, at the beginning of your career, you had your first big break as Bobby Ewing on Dallas. No. What's your What's your fondest memory of working on that show? Actually, my first big break was The Man from Atlantis, much before you were born, Lori. Uh, I <laughs> And then came Dallas, and my best yeah. my best memory of Dallas was the very first day we did the reading of the script, where we all met the seven members of the cast, the Ewing family met for the first time, in a little room at Warner Brothers Studio, and we all walked in trying to figure out who the other person was, and in walked Larry Hagman, in a full buckskin outfit with fringe and a huge hat and big saddlebags over his shoulder, and in both ends of the saddlebags were bottles of champagne. And before we read the Dallas script for the first time, we sat there and drank six bottles of champagne, and we all got tipsy, <laughs> and then we figured out who we were as the Ewing family, and we read the, the script of Dallas. That's my best memory, because it started that show off on the same footing that it held in my heart for 13 years as the most enjoyable time working I could ever imagine. And it was consistent for 13 years. Well, with an experience like that, I can only imagine that you've made some some really good friends. I mean, throughout the years you've worked with, uh, you've worked alongside, you know, many other talented actors. Who do you still keep in touch with from your earlier work? Well, the nice thing is, you know, and sometimes it's it's difficult. You work with wonderful people, and then you never see them again. Um, you know, if you're if you're on a show and it, it lasts a week, or you're a guest star or something, and you really love the people, but then you go away. Um, for 13 years, we as a group of best friends got to meet each other five days a week, for nine months, ten months out of the year. And we became as close as you can imagine a family can actually be. Then when you go away, you maintain those friendships, which we did over the years. The same thing happened with Step by Step. When I started Step by Step in 1991, um, we became the Lambert family. Suzanne and I became a husband and wife. She refers to me to this day as her second husband. Alan Hamill is her husband. And she's my second <laughs> wife. And we feel that way about each other. We trust each other's judgment and opinions. Uh, and I did the same with Larry and Linda. Um, those are fortunate parts of our business when you work together a long time as opposed to a short time to maintain loving friendships for the rest of your life. And I, like I said earlier, I am a big fan of your work. And in my mind, I was kind of thinking, hmm, you know, if I were to write a film, what kind of film would I put Patrick Duffy in? And I was thinking, I would love to see you in a sci-fi film. If they were to bring back or do a remake of a sci-fi show or a sci-fi film, what remake would you love to star in? Oh, I've never had a question like that. Um, the interesting thing, in one sense, of course, I can't be who I was uh, 15, 20, 30, and 40 years ago. Um, uh, Man from Atlantis was a great sci-fi television show for its period. No special effects. They, we had to do everything ourselves. Uh, I would have loved to see what would be possible now with all of the technology available to do a show like that uh, or any of those big superhero shows with the abilities that they have technically now. Um, I would have to be the resident 
mayor of the space station or something. I, you know, I wouldn't be out there as a swashbuckler anymore. Um, but if I could go back in time, uh, you know, mm. I, I actually went in for an interview to play Luke Skywalker for the original Star Trek, uh, original, um, 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 you know which I'm talking about, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, there, that shows you my age. Uh, but the original Star Wars, uh, not an audition, just walk through the door like any number of other actors, and then you see what happens to an iconic uh, show, film, series, uh, era, that Star Wars has become, and you think, wow, that's a great to be a part of. And then I look back and think, well, I was a part of Dallas and Step by Step and 40 years of television. So yeah, I don't have any desires to do something other than whatever comes next. So let's go ahead and get into Step by Step, which um, happened to play a really big part in my high school years. Okay. <laughs> Now, I want to go back to the very, very beginning. Um, you know, what was your experience like when you were first casted as the dad, Frank Lambert, on Step by Step? Well, I'd been, I'd been working for 17 years playing the most, uh, not downer characters, but never frivolity, never fun, never joyful. It was always serious, heavy drama, especially on Dallas. And to walk out the Dallas door and walk in the step-by-step -step door and have every episode so inventive in terms of the crazy things that they would allow us to do comedically was such a joy. It was such a release because that's pretty much my character anyway. Um, I, I'm, I'm not the most serious person in the world and I was trapped and enjoyed doing it on Dallas, but to be able to come in every day and read the new script, uh, every episode of Step by Step. And if you look back at the 160 episodes we did, every one of them had some ridiculously crazy comedic element in it. Uh, you know, just silly things, but so enjoyable to do as a job. So what's it like to see your work on Step by Step again from 30 years ago? Well, at least it's the nearest thing to the way I am now. You know, I can't imagine looking at Man from Atlantis or the early Dallas as I look like I'm my own grandson. But to look at no. to look at Frank Lambert as he started to mature, you know, he was a father of three children, uh, you know, in a second marriage. So I can relate a little bit to him. But the, to me, the important part is to see how well um, basic comedy writing of that show and of all the TGIF lineup, how those things stand up in terms of their humor and how people can still enjoy that today. It is an escape from the rigors of your normal life. Uh, and I think that's an important thing to have as an option. You know, Comedy now has to, uh, in many cases, be contemporary and comment on mm. societal things, but our show didn't. Our show was an escape and a chance to get away from it and just enjoy that period of time. And I, uh, and I enjoy looking at that to this day and just, uh, I make myself laugh. It sounds egotistical, <laughs> but when I see certain things that we did on the show, I'm laughing right along with us. Now, uh, your character and his TV family were a big part of the lives of many adoring fans. Uh, during the, the run of the show, what would you like to say to your fans who will be revisiting Step by Step on Hulu? Well, I would say that, that life is good at its core. And what we proved on that show, you know, we, we on purpose were a blended family of children who were diametrically opposite of one another. And we made it work <laughs> and we made people laugh. And at the end of every episode, we resolved the family problems. And that's a good lesson. That's a good example to set mm -hmm. um, in any family, let alone a blended family, let alone, and so many families nowadays are blended. So many parents, single parents, uh, join up with another single parent, and then you have this blended family. It can work, and you can have a joyful existence. And I think that's the baseline message, especially of our show on the TGIF lineup, that um, anything is solvable as long as everybody has the best of intentions. 
and, and you can laugh along the way. It's a pretty good lesson. Well, you know, it's it's really great to be able to revisit the show again. And again, you know, thank you so much, Patrick, for taking the time to speak with us today. Lori, it's been my pleasure. Thank you. Step by Step on Hulu. Thanks again, Patrick. You take care. Bye-bye. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.